This the chopper power. 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 Yo, I am Fat Man, and this is the Chop Up Hour. Oh my God. Shay Mac. Yes, sir. Hey, I'm glad I nailed the name, brother. Glad to be here. I'm Thank you for actually. Look, most people don't even get that on, on, on <laughs> spot on. Hey, man, it's it's a blessing, brother. I like to bless people that I, I done been blessed. I like to bless people as well, brother. That's love. That's what it's about for me. I don't do it for the clout or no other crap. I do it because I enjoy it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But I, my, not this ain't about me. This is about you today, man. It's your platform today, man. And I'm I'm glad to have you. And thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Man. I hear you got an accent, man. Where are you from naturally? So, originally? Um, I'm well. I'm from um, Oyo State in a country called Nigeria. It's that they're different, but that's six states. I'm sure I got that wrong at some point. They're gonna come at me. It's fine. It's about thirty plus states, but I'm from the state we call Oyo. Mm -hmm. um, my dad's actually from there. Uh, my mom's from a state called Edo. Um, so originally I'm from Oyo State, but I lived in Lagos, the city Lagos in, in um, Nigeria. Uh, that's so, where you were born at? No, so, well, funny enough, it, this is going to throw everyone off, but I was actually born in Philly. Real shit. I was actually, but I don't know how my mom saw like, all these immigration problems coming years into the future, but she said, we're not going to let them just, no. So she had me in Philly, and we came down to Florida when I was about two. Okay. What's the population in that country? Where you from? Millions per millions. Even that, I, that grows by the second, really. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> is it like big city or is it like country and stuff? When people think about certain areas in Africa, they think about animals and giraffes and lions. It ain't like that, is it? I don't, so it's 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 quite it's the irony of that is I've heard people down here call Lagos the Miami of um, of Africa. Yeah, no, Nigeria. Nigeria. Yeah, that country specifically. Because um, Africa, I mean, you have about Ghana, you have about right. Cape Town. Right. In their respect, rights. But Lagos is, if you think of Georgia, you think of ATL. Okay. You think of California, you go LA. Okay. If it's. Uh, my point is, it's a hot spot city. So, same way you have your Miami. Right. You have Lagos. So, that's where every. That's the entertainment hub, pretty that's, much. Oh. Yeah, okay, so that's that. That's where. It's, well, since you weren't born, how often you get back over there? I well, I actually just came back in December, and mm -hmm. I, I had I hadn't been back in about three four years, um, and it was it, it gave me the the, <laughs> the extra charge I've needed for at, at least at least a couple years. Now I'm ready to go. Ready to go. Man, wow, that's pretty cool. So Philly, that's where you grew up at. No, uh, I haven't seen this since I was two. Okay. Um, I left when I was two years old and moved to Philly. I got gotcha. so, you. Born and dump. I got you. I got you. Mom, mom and dad, uh, same, they still together? Uh, yes. Oh, man. That's amazing, bro. It's amazing. That good upbringing. That's what they tell me. We done good. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's the truth. Hey, that's the truth. So what got you in the music, though? You know, it, it's it's so funny, and, and I love this question because, you know, believe it or not, I never, I, I don't say I didn't ever want to do music, but it, it was never my first love, nor was it on my mind to even start creating. I mean, everyone loves listening to records, and as a matter of fact, it's me being an artist and listening myself. I now realize these are the records that we've enjoyed as kids, but we never think of like the technical aspect. And so, by the time you do, I'm not gonna say it ruins the magic, but what's something as just a moment in the studio for you is a memory in some other kid's life. I mean, we talk about soundtracks and movies you love to this day. They right. came with music that stuck with us. Um, Eternally, at most times, you know. Damn, we got technical difficulties. Oh, one second, we'll be right back. We just lost power, but our cameras are still rolling. <clears throat> All right, technical difficulties. We back at the top of power with Shay Max. Hey, y'all fuck with him. So Shay, let me ask you again, man. Yes, sir. We know you from Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Original, uh, uh, your family grew. It started. It started up for you. Yes, sir. Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. Now you're here in Miami. Yeah. The music circuit, man. Hmm. How was it merging into it, brother? <laughs> it's, it's you know, and it, it, it's kind of obvious because, I mean, you hear some of these stories, you know. You, I mean, you, you grew up listening to and even just knowing about someone like Kodak. You could hear XXX Tentacion. You could hear Rob Banks. You could hear now La Tyler, Ski Mask. You know, you hear these names and you wonder where the sound kind of comes from. Mm -hmm. 
But then you come to somewhere like specifically South Florida. I guess it's all over Florida, really. But right. Miami specifically, there's something about this city that just brings the sound to a different level. I think it's it's very interesting, very very interesting where they carve their own lane and mm-hmm. they run off with it pretty much. I and mean, you see them taking over festivals and all that. And so, in saying that, it's it's there's no one word to describe it. All I can mostly even say is I'm grateful to even watch the scene and kind of even see a couple of people that I know for sure is, are going to touch a main stage in the near future. No doubt. No um, doubt. Yeah. Let me ask you, what, 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 what for you, man, uh-huh. creating the music or performing the music? Both. Both? Both. Um, you both equally? So, mm, not equally. Definitely much more performing. The reason why I say that is because as much as I, I like studios, I don't have a, an interest for it anymore because I picked up trying to engineer my own vocals back in 2021. Uh, so for the last two years and hopefully counting, um, I plan to do so and I plan to get behind you know, uh, the board and even start trying to produce. No doubt. I think I love the creation as much as the performance and if anything, I feel like you can't have one without the other. No doubt. In a sense, but I, in the, I think once I wrap up a career and have a successful career, or even before that, I'll definitely go behind the board. You guys will hear me on a couple no of days. No doubt, no doubt, bro. Hey, I see. It seems like to me you more you biblical, man. I see you speak biblically a lot, man. With, I do. With God and and, and, and how you power. Yes, sir. What what where you get that from? Um. Well, where I'm coming from, I think you know, coming from a place like Lagos, I mean, we can have all the lights, camera, and action when December comes around. That's when all the major shows and festivals happen, and summer's been picking up too. But aside from that, we're still a, a nation that you know is still quote unquote, is still developing. I mean, the continent is blessed don't get me wrong but i think our leaders have really done a number and all this circles back to when it feels like there's nothing we go to the only thing that gives us something and you know for most for some of the country um it's it's christianity well not that specifically but it's god right you know it's allah for most of the country because it is heavy heavy um, arabic presence but it, it, that's that's been our source and even for something as the castle going off for not Boiling the water to the right temperature is blood of Jesus that we end up eating. No doubt. It. It's, no it's doubt. so funny when we do it sometimes, but we didn't realize how impactful that was in just our life, just even growing up. No doubt. No doubt, man. Hey, I couldn't answer it no better, brother. Hey, that's a good way to be grounded and rooted, though. Yes, you sir. hear me, man? It started there. That's the base, bro. Mm. That's the base, man. And a lot of people don't understand or get that, man. You know what I'm saying? We got to always give thanks, brother. Because we ain't. Uh, you know, we ain't promised to be here tomorrow, the next second, or whatever the case may be. At all. So, does your music embody that? Embody? Because I, I heard a few tracks I was listening to. You speak highly as far as the higher power. Yes, sir. But uh, do you feel like your your writing and stuff is, is centered around that? I can say that now. Um, I definitely won't say that. That I, that's how I've always been. Now, granted, I'm being clean for the most part. I mean. It, one of my entry points into music was through mom. She's like, if you don't cuss, you're fine. And so I rode with that. And so I just, it'd still be content full. I just would use a lot less vocal, even none. Right. Um, but I think in the last two years, I think just I think the, seeing that the world is not <laughs> the world is not whole and tomorrow is never promised. And so I I re- I've recently found and in just doing that, you know, I kind of was compared to Christians who devoted their entire lives. I'm not saying I don't, but I've definitely fallen off the bandwagon at some point. Of course. Um, and so me now rediscovering him is, is the most beautiful thing. And so nowadays I'm just trying to translate that to, I think, the way my people do best. And that is through music. That's it, bro. It's medicine, bro. It's medicine. It's healing. Everything. You know what I mean? It's it's, it's, it's something power. You ever, you ever listen to an old song or something that, that you probably grew up listening to? Mm. And it either like if you was driving, it made you want to drive faster, or if you was, or whatever, it it, it brought out like some type of emotion. You want to think about a girl that you used to kick it with or something. Oh it just music just take you places, bro. That just it, it's amazing where it take you, it take you back to a time. Yes. Whatever that was that was going on around that time, it take you back there. For me, I'm gonna say. So, have you ever experienced that? I mean, music is the soundtrack of life. I mean, we we kind of touched on it previously. You know, you don't realize you grew up with these things, but as you're humming, I don't know, the ice cream, you know the ice cream man tune by heart, and by head, and by soul. The minute you hear that truck coming, you yeah. know there's something for you. Right. That was from music. I mean, even that little jingle is all you need. And that's, people grew up with that and defined some of their morals, not on the truck, 
or what it represented to them. Right. And at the point, they could pinpoint that music came from it. I mean, we could, we've all had favorite movies, favorite even TV shows. It could even be something as a theme song. Right. Personally, I'll never forget SpongeBob, but... Right, right. If you ever thought of Metro Boomer doing that beat, it, it, they were bopping their heads it, like that. It, it resonated. So, unknowingly, it's been the soundtrack to our lives. No doubt. So. No doubt. What's your latest project, Shay? Um, I've just recently finished, very, very, very recently, I've just finished putting together um, my intro to myself. I think for a while I've been experimenting, dropping different singles, doing different collabs, and many more to come soon. I just self-titled, this is the latest project? So it's called Max of Many. Um, and I guess, you you know, in a sense, it, it is self-titled. Um, right. It, besides it being a story about me, it's 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 a synopsis that lets you know one, uh, this is me, unapologetically, um, <laughs> as authentic as I can be. Right. I don't. It, most things that you ever hear me preach about, it, 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 <laughs> and even go throw on a song, it's, it's it's not centered around something that hasn't happened to me. Right. Someone I know, or something that I, I'm currently going through. And so, you know, at a point when it became my therapy, I thought let me be the therapist and give that a shot. And so, you know, um, that's the uh, <laughs> that's the synopsis of Max of Many. It's to show you, for one, <laughs> I'm a kid that I think one is very promising and can touch a, a couple lanes than just one. You could look at me as just a rapper, and that's fine. Right. All I'll ask you is, with that, <laughs> with that one-dimensional thinking in, in mind, open it a little bit. Right. And start from the intro. Right, then right. come and tell me. After. Is this gonna be an EP or a single? No, it's an album. It's this an is album. this is an album. Okay. This, this is so. This is my debut album. I've done a couple projects. Well, I've done a couple projects in the past two years ago. I released Melodies of a Man, and I'm I'm even smiling about it right now, just remembering what the creation was amongst everything else. I mean, I love the project personally. Right. I mean, I was I love everything. I, not everything. I right, 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 right. But even thinking back to that time and how exciting it was to put together something. A little tape, a collective, you know, people write books. Well, we write songs. You put it in an album. Right. All you need is a cover. And, you know, I wanted to, to represent that. No doubt. So you have in that the Chevy I used in my Cruise Lines music video. Mm -hmm. And the same outfit and all, just animated with like a stop sign. Um, and that's just to show you, I could definitely pick more than just one right. name. I want to I wanna pick it back off something you said just now. You say uh, two years ago, that last project you dropped. Yes, sir. And your creating process. You take some time off, or you be trying to uh, figure out your next sound or your next particular direction you're gonna go with your music. Because for taking off the two years, were you still working in the process, for sure. creating, writing, and so forth, creating tracks, getting tracks, or whatever. I don't know. I don't know if you're making your own beats now currently, but mm -mm. okay. You know, but you know, you know how I go. You eventually go get there. It's yes. covered. It's covered. Uh, the two years off, the hiatus. So it really wasn't a hiatus. It was basically you was getting some other things together mm -hmm. and, and in between I was dropping singles between hand uh, I mean I did give a good number but most were leading up to that project and after that it was just slow and steady more so the build up and you know to properly answer your question yes I have I mean I, I think even something even something as you know writing on the way here right. I could write about something and yeah. that's always continuous so for me that doesn't stop now there may be moments where I don't even want to record gotcha but it's for one discipline two you know, hard work beats talent. Any, any. Man, say it, say it again. Hard work say it loud. beats talent. They don't hear you in the every back. Every day and night. You better believe it. Consistency, brother. Oh my gosh. Consistency, you, brother. You can sing like Beyonce on one song, but can you do it again? And then can you do it better? Exactly. Because the audience is, they're going to love this and they're going to want something more. No Always. doubt. So no. it's on you. No doubt. It's all on you, bro. Man, so the the, the, the latest album, you say it's uh, pretty much self titled. Yeah. Uh, when is this coming? Um, I originally wanted it for the, this summer, and I believe before it, be, right before it runs out, um, we'll get it. Okay. Um, I did have to push it back slightly because I wanted it to drop in early July. Okay. Um, July first to be exact. But I, I want this to give this my all. This, this is my official. You know, this is what I used to get into my. This is my resume. Okay. I, 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 I treat it like. Um, and the reason being why is because. From this point forward, wherever I speak on it, wherever I go, whatever I do, people are gonna ask me where it starts at. And I could give a whole story from when I started picking up the pen till, right. I don't know, a collab with Jersey at that point in time. But they're gonna ask me what really kicked it off for me, and it's gonna be this. Right. Now, what that translates to is you're gonna hear the good, you're gonna hear the bad, you're gonna hear some ugly. But 
that, that's the only way I know how to be. I'll be honest with you. It's the only way to be. It's the only way to be, brother. Be yourself. Yes, sir. End of the day, give, yeah, you, you, we're a book. We're writing a book every day. Got you. We're writing a book every day in our lives, man. Things we experience, things mm -hmm. we're going through, man. And, you know, it, you know how it go, man. You're a creator as well. So it's a process, brother. Yeah. And, and I feel like, yeah, you're going to make some mistakes along the way, but listen, uh, without a mistake, man, there could be no lesson. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, man, I love what you're doing, brother. You came here and got your feet on the ground. Your albums, who producing the latest album? And how many tracks on that album? So we have eight. Um, I have a bonus on there. <laughs> and, and, and I've kind of been teasing it a lot. But um, for the last two, three weeks, I did put out the track list. I did give them the cover. I, you know, normally artists love to wait till the last second. Right. These guys need to know about what they're getting into. Right. Because these waters are deep. Right. I say that because, you know, my peers and friends and pretty much family have really come through for me and helped me put together a story Okay. I think anyone can follow. You know, if they're, forget it, even they're just lovers of music. Mm -hmm. If you like direction, I say come to this. Okay. After all, this is, is what's going to steer me on whatever lane I choose. Because okay. like I said, Max of many is to show that, yes, I'm just starting out, but I'm going to let you know I'm not going to stay in one place. Okay. What, Max? Is that your name originally? No. So, my last name is Makinde. It's M-A-K-I-N-D-E. Okay. Now, in... So, what we call... Well, I was in boarding school, but what you guys call middle slash high school, okay. we call secondary school. Okay. If you ask anyone in, in from the even, the... even the UK, really, um, they'll tell you secondary school. Now, <laughs> as you know, it's middle high school. So, right. So, you know, that, that comes all the big egos. That becomes, you know, developing into someone and... Some people think they're better than others, you know. I right. I'm not I'm not a fan of bullies. I don't really like them. I've never really been one. Right. I've had my moments where my siblings and I go back and forth. But right. personally, I keep to myself. I don't like attention. Funny enough. Right. And a couple of <laughs> I think someone had called me that just I think to try and pick off or something, and they were just like Max, but it wasn't like M A X. It was spelled M A K S. The actual short. Right. Short right. of like a truck. Yeah, like my last name. Well, yeah, I did. That's what I drive. You know what? You know what, I think at some point someone didn't mean that, and if it was you, <laughs> if it's who I'm actually thinking about, then well done. I'll clap for, I'll clap for you. Hmm? Congrats. Yeah. But, you know, I wrote off that, and that was the name I always started with, and just always kept with. Um, Shayi Max is just, you know, I, I could choose a thousand different things, but I want to show the world who I am personally. No doubt. So, get to know me by my first name, let me cut off the little bit of the last name, right. and you know what? I, I'm an, I just, I feel, but I know, I'm a name that will be cemented, and no I'm doubt. not just saying that no to doubt. gas up my album. No, I, bro. I promise that. Talk your shit, bro. I promise that. I promise that. Shit, I've, 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 <laughs> I've come to Florida for many things, but <laughs> coming to the music scene, I've seen what I'm, you know, quote unquote, up against, and I see what's out there. But I'm telling you, right. All that stuff is beautiful, but people want real music back. It's, it's, it's coming back. Uh, I agree. It's coming back. And we've seen it. And this is what I'm here for. It's okay. I understand. I understand what's been going on. Very and I hear, it, man. I hear, you know, I don't, I, you know, I never just judge. I always just take note. Right. So, you know, I, I see and hear. I'm a human being too. I may be in the back. <laughs> you don't see me. <laughs> but I see and hear you. So it's okay. Right. So when I do decide to move, just know what came from. So hey, for those that don't get it, man, don't mistake confidence for cockiness. That's basically what he said. That's confidence. This young man speaking from a confidence standpoint. He know what he able to do. He know what he's capable of doing. Absolutely. And y'all fuck with him, man. Appreciate Dope it. young nigga, man. Appreciate that. You know what I mean? And even on that note, you know, and, and I'd love to just, you know, on this, um, give a shout to everyone who supported me. And as a result of that, I'm wearing all my friends essentially okay um this came from my mom it's at coral beach they have in what, her hometown edo state okay and, uh, she just recently bought me this and thank you moms um, yeah a beautiful day this came from an interesting clothing line i i i, I recently found at one of my shows a couple months ago called okay. tribe x tribe x and he, uh, homeboy that owns it is nothing but a gem okay. and gave me some interesting words and just meeting him one time that so much carried on into the album I right. told him this. There's a song. I even the idea originated from this shirt, and okay. on the back of it, it had you know I pray for all my enemies to go to heaven, essentially. Because um, what what do I look like wishing hell on someone else? Exactly. God forbid something bad happens to me now. Right. That's it. 
Right. There's no point in spreading what's already outside in the world. Right. You know, right. if you're gonna come in, try and change. No doubt. Um, and on that, I'm also wearing, you know, my guys from Lagos, Rich for Life. Okay. Um, they've got all, <laughs> all the stuff. I tell like you. that shirt. Like, yo, yeah. it's my guys, man. Shout out to Mohammed. It's my guy. Shout out to Muhammad. And man. then this is by a Miami legend coming up. His name is D Money. Okay. Um, this Cash is his. Pro shop. So normally it's Bass Pro, but no one has a fish. Right. If you claim you know how to get money, then there it is. Let's see it. There it is. Let's see it. This man came in here, man, showing love to people that's in his in, in, in his center, in his core, man. Always. You know what I mean? And that's what I think is that's what it, for me I think that's what it's all about, bro. I think we put it to help, man. I think we put it to help, encourage. Uh, speak blessings over other people's lives, man. Mm -hmm. Whether you deal with them on a daily basis or not, but you want to see them succeed. You understand what I'm saying? So Absolutely. I'm big on that too, brother. I do that a lot, bro. I, I bring people in, in the fold, you know, because I know it's bigger than me. Mm -hmm. It's bigger than me, bro. I, I'm just a piece of a, a big puzzle. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? But I'm going to do my part to be able to elevate other individuals, right. shed light on other individuals. Right. And, and, and end of the day, encourage them. You know what I mean? That they can do it too. So, man, I, I well, love it, bro. Well, on that note, what what's the ratio that you've experienced yourself of people you tried to bring with you and those you just couldn't? Everybody ain't ready. Everybody ain't ready. My last project I just shot, everybody is not ready. Mm. And, you know, I I heard Steve Harvey say this one time on uh, this little clip they had put up, that, uh, uh, saying something like, everybody can't go with you. You know what I mean? And, and I... I to some degree, I believed it, but to some degree, I didn't. Like when he said, "Everybody can't go with you," and I believe, and he said that in the essence of, uh, not that they can't go with you, that they if they're not ready, they're not going to be able to go with you. Yeah. They're not ready mentally. Yeah. They're not ready in their heart. They ain't gonna be able to go. They yeah. can't transition to where you finna go at. So I think that's what it really was trying to say. But you know, a lot of people took it like, "Oh, everybody can't go with you." What you mean? You ain't trying to help people? No, you trying to help, but they gotta want it too. Yeah. They gotta want it. And again, I run into that a lot. Especially this film side, man. People showing up late. You know what I mean. You signed on for a project. You you, you come when you want to come, or mm. you can't come today. And that that's been a little bit um uh, throwing in my ass a little bit. But you know, at the end of the day, bro, you can't force something on somebody if that ain't that ain't their path. Right. That ain't what they post. Yeah, they might want to be a part of something, right. but if they're not ready, they ain't gonna. It's gonna don't get mad with them, bro. Don't get mad. And that's just what it is. So and we just continue to pray for them. That's it, bro. That's it, bro. Latest show, man. What your latest show was? So I actually, and and you know, and and this I wasn't even meant to be on, but it's it, for one, God, two, you know, the gracious people that have seen my face and said, you know what, it's cool if you're there. And mm -hmm. in that saying that, you know, slow build up. Um, <laughs> big shout to you know Lamb of Chicken and Backwoods. And okay. That entire brand, that whole brand. Shout what out would you to say? Them guys. Yeah. A lot of artists have been through it. Done did that show. So I don't even need to say too yeah, much. If you know, them, then there you go. Yeah, I'm familiar. I mean, it's it's they. You know, I found them a couple. Well, I found them last year. I, I believe recently, the, I, towards the third quarter of okay. last year. So very very recently, and these guys have become family. I, right. I, I want to say they show me so much love. Okay. And you know, they make sure they bring, they do their best to, okay. you know, bring up those around them that they at least listen to. Right. And hey, you know what? May not be here now, but I hear you'll be there sometime. Right. And offer that strength of that, I'll bring you along. Those guys have done nothing. And in saying that, they just wrapped up, you know, with um, dope events. Okay. With their uh, This Is Music tour. Right. Where, I think at the Little Haiti Cultural Center, they had their concert, and it was it was shut down. Wow. Shut down. Wow. It had to be there. Wow. So you enjoyed it performing, Paul? Loved it. I mean, well, I loved every second of it. I think they, they truly put together something memorable. Okay. And, you know, any show will have their ups and downs, but in the end, it was beautiful. Right. It was beautiful to see, discover, and hear what's really coming out. Nice from. crowd. <sighs> Loaded, huh? Auditorium was, was at, at a point, it was, <laughs> everyone was up out their seats and really just going nuts because some right. of these artists that are here. And again, shouts to all of you. It, even in Car Reese. Javier and I think there, there, there was one more, it, but they 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 want me. I want to go to Charlotte. I want to go to Charlotte. Right, so right. They, they, hey, I got access at a guy, uh, Floyd the Block. Shout out to Floyd the Block. Um, 
He do. He got an open mic uh, every Wednesday night right here in Hollywood. Remember, you did did the show before? Where club? Uh, club is it? Club Live? Club Live or mm-hmm. Club Live? Right on Hollywood Boulevard, the twenty fourth, man. But every Wednesday night, I could give his number, man. He, he he promote the whole show for that night. But uh, it be it be lit, bro. Okay. It be lit. It's probably something you want to go do. Just show your face, man. Do a talk song or two. I think he let you do two tracks. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying it be a nice crowd too. So it's something you might want to entertain, man. Just well, for it. you, bro, I know you went to interject, but for you that giving a platform to artists, you don't know what that means to people. Straight Even up. people like me, you don't know what that means. You can be the biggest in the world, but it's always the opportunities that right. you, will honestly, not only right. humble you, but help you more so humble you. Right. And shout out to you. Shout out to Flood the Block. Man. Shout out to Flood the Block. Man. Flood the Block, man. Good brother, man. Um. Man, I, hey, bro, I, I'm sure so much more we could talk about, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I, the, the creating process, the new album coming soon, man. Mm-hmm. The eight track album, uh, with the bonus track. You said it got a bonus track on it. Yeah. Do you sing on these tracks, man? I do, I do. I, 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 I did on one, and um, it's a lot more to that to come. It, and, and I laugh because that's something that was never taught. I had to kind of teach myself how to sing. Essentially, now right. I don't know. I love Aretha, and I, I, I want to get up to her vocals one day. I will eventually. I will. I said, I shall. But not right now. I am just. I can. I can. I can. I can crank a tune out for you if you need it. Need it be. Um, but yeah, I am learning that, and it's 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 so interesting. It's really people don't realize the the, um, the same way you play instruments. Mm-hmm. Your vocal cords, your vocals are an instrument. Any, I'm not gonna say any. Everyone can sing, but the. Voice is an instrument. Right. Practice makes perfect. Right. Put in the work and see what happens. Hey. I never thought I could, and for some, I got on that. Hey man, even in the climate of the, bro, I, I, I'm, I'm a firm believer. It ain't got to be perfect. Yeah. It just got to make sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. All the rap music in my era, you know what I mean? My era, part of one generation behind yours, yeah. with a lot of the tracks where people were singing the Tupacs, the DMXs. All them guys were singing on records, man, and it didn't sound bad, and they weren't even singers. Some of them were kind of the hardest around. Oh, exactly, exactly, bro. So I, I think it worked. Uh, it, it worked when you you got a right producer behind you, man. He coaching you along the way. Do it this way, do yep. it that way, do it. You know what I mean? So forth. Who produced the new the album? So it's it's a number it's a number of people, and I, and I want to make sure I get this right because these guys have. They had no right to even look my way, and yet they not only did, but they said, "Let's create something and let me go forth with it." Okay. And these guys, we had have, have records with. So, first of all, THK, um, he's a part of Pop Boys and also for uh, this well now global but Nigerian collective called Apex Village. They're okay. taking over back in home. Okay. You know, I think hometowns uh, Abuja. Okay. So, shout out to ABJ. Um, so that's the hyperactive kid. That's THK. I have um, I have Philly who's done some records for Soldier. Okay. Uh, Soldier Boy. I Soldier think. Boy. I think they yeah. Soldier. Soldier. <laughs> it's a lot of. Big Draco. Yeah. Oh gosh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I walked to. <laughs> yeah. I walked to some of your people, and. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and then I have you know E twenty three who's who did Cruise Lines, and that's currently out. Has visuals as well on YouTube. Um, he he. He, again, these are guys that didn't even have to ever meet me. Right. And they said, let's go. And with him, we have enough to drop a whole EP tomorrow. Okay. I mean, and, and more. But um, he did a track on there. And I, I bought, ah, gosh, I really, do, oh, I'm sorry, Uxus. So Uxus is my guy. He's also from Lego. Most of these people I'm naming okay. were originally, if not currently, originally from Niger. Okay. So these are home, these are homegrown guys okay. that are, that are that, Personally, I think they're heavyweights. Anyone can have their own perspective, but these right. guys are. I can hear it. They sought you out. What? Wow. They, see they made sure I'm good, and them so. They saw, hey, bro. They see something. Yo, it, it's it's it, it's it's different. It, it's it's look. It, it no one ever has to look your way, and what I realize is no one has to respect. Uh, no, nobody owes you anything. Nobody owes you anything. No, bro. At all, no. and we have this complex, especially as creators, because you'll give you someone your heart and soul. You feel like they can give that same regard. But the truth is, before you discover this music, you were a listener too. So the same way you just do that, that's the way they do as well. And you can't always expect that, and it's okay. Bro, I I just got in a uh, I ain't gonna say argument. I just got uh, in my feelings last weekend mm. when I spoke with a guy, 
in the film world. And he told me that. And I immediately went on defense. And I shouldn't have. When he said, he said, bro, you got to keep in mind, I don't owe you nothing. But I took that as he was disrespecting me the way he said it. Right. And I told him we came back after we started speaking after when he was leaving, I was outside smoking and I, I apologized to him differently. He like, no, nah, bro, it ain't okay, but you gotta understand, like in this business here, it's built on relationships, brother. Mm. And he say, like, I walk you in a certain place and I've known these people for thirty plus years and you might not be who you say you are mm. and I'd introduce you to these people and my face on it. So it ain't no disrespect that you would say he say, Show me some stuff, give me some stuff. And uh, come meet with me. I got a coffee shop. Come stop by my coffee shop and we can talk. Wow. So it, the conversation went from, which I thought was disrespect, and I was the side of me that feeling confident in what I do and what I'm capable of doing and what I done done. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, you don't owe me nothing. I just met, I, I just my second, second wow. or third time meeting. So that was powerful what you just said, brother. I, I, well, I've just recently discovered that. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm a creator who puts my actual heart into my craft, so I will feel some type of way. Now most can claim they don't care and they don't, it's just, they just they, but if you're putting this out there, you're putting your vocals on the track, oh, yes you do, right. yeah, that's it. and yeah. there's some emotion that comes behind of it. Of course it or is. Or else you're not gonna leave anything on people. Mm -hmm. Even if it's, it's, it's you know, straight aggression at, at, what do they call it, 954 music? Yeah, it, it, if it's fast pitch, that's how you feel at that moment in time. You can't deny it. Right. Also, it, it you're gonna feel something when people even just say a couple of things. Right. I get used to that. It's always gonna be there, but right, right. I just <laughs> stop it on your forehead if you need it. Nobody owes you anything. They don't, bro. People do it off the respect you show them yeah. and the work rate that you show them. It's about your hustle. Yeah, you got to have hustle, bro. Yeah, you ain't hustling. You ain't staying consistent, man. With the with the climate of things is, it's like people coming and going so fast, and it's a lot of rappers, bro. It's a lot of them, bro. So you know, and when when you dealing with that, it's like crabs, bro. <sighs> You know, that bottom crab, man, he gonna catch hell trying to get to the top of the barrel, bro. <laughs> Same barrel, different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, I, yeah, I get it, bro. What could people expect from the latest album, bro? So, I, so I don't, well, we're not setting fireworks off just yet. I think that will happen after the Grammy. I think before then. Straight up, speak um, it, speak oh, it, bro. Speak it, bro. It's coming. Yeah, speak <laughs> it, bro. Let me tell you now <laughs> how many is coming. You see, yeah, he's yeah. on the way. Yes. <laughs> Well, call me. So what you can get from this is an introduction to who I am, um, mistakes I've made along the road, and me leaving stuff like that in there to show people, one, I'm not perfect. No one is. I think God made us imperfect beings. No doubt. You know, if, well, perfect really would need him because it's not, right. there's a there's something not lacking, missing something we do need. You know, we can admit that. And people don't like to admit that nowadays yeah. at all. You know, everyone wants to stand on their own rock. I'm self this, I'm made this, and on my own two feet, nobody nah, this, nah, my own team. Nah. You, you can be your own island, but it doesn't mean anyone's going to visit. Exactly. Uh, man, say it, man. Speak that, man. That was dope what you just said, bro. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, man, it started with being humble, man, and grace and mercy, bro. Because you already know, ain't nothing promised to you, bro. At all. Nothing, bro. At all. Man, what's next for you, bro? Um, I think the world, I can say that, I, I can say that confidently. Um, because as much as I would, because I I could treat this album like my love child today, but the truth is, as if I if this is gonna go the way I know it will, people are gonna want more. Okay. Uh, so you know, my team and I are already straight behind that, <laughs> working tirelessly right. to ensure A, B, and C are together. Right. Uh, so we have quite a bit, and someone I thought I wouldn't even notice that I exist in this current state time now checked in with me when I was in Lagos. Okay. And, you know, one of the one of the big up and coming over there and uh, he this guy didn't have to ever again, he didn't have to look my way. Exactly. He didn't owe me anything. Right. But we I just you built a relationship with him. Oh, and I think, you know, it, it takes things like that to people now realize you exist. Even some of them when they see you and don't it's it's common in that right, but right, right. um I think people are gonna wake up when they hear this one. No doubt, it, <laughs> man. I can't wait to hear the project. I can't wait to hear the project. What where they gonna be able to stream it at? What platforms they would be able to uh, everywhere? Get I think this music? right now it's on about. So I go through DistroKid. It's it's through countless platforms. But on the top of my head, um, even just getting out the socials is gonna be on Instagram. So you can have your little reels. It's gonna be on Snapchat. So as you post your little snaps, 
It's gonna be on TikTok. So as you wanna do those dances and move your I gyre it pretty much. Yeah. I'm on there for you. Ladies. And when you wanna take it to, you know, what you traditionally listen to, which I'm gonna bump maybe in the car. It's gonna be on Spotify, YouTube, Apple Music, SoundCloud, Pandora, Tidal, I believe Deezer, SoundCloud, Audio Mac. I it's what I'm gonna make sure every single one of you gets to the chance to listen to it because this is this personally this is something worthwhile i'm not just saying this i'm saying this off the strength of people that trusted me to put this piece together man really and you know and while i'm on that note if it's okay with you no, I man, to talk, get them talk, now. so the intro and this is all out by the way they can go check this the intro is done by my guy um Yuxus. Okay. Now, um it's called just the beginning and it starts with the prayer and you know is a little little you know how rap can you rap and over just a a sultry sultry melody and shouts to him um lord b who's in the uk and uh, shouts to you my g he's he's taking over over there okay that that's another nigerian native but he there's something about us i think i i'm, I'm look i won't speak too much because i'm, I'm very sure people love to run with things but it's no secret that Afrobeats. And Nigerians in general are kind of ruling. If you look at every room right. you kind of walk into, what there are some you maybe just don't know. Right. People pronounce it as a different name. Right. But, you How know, long the Afrobeat um, genre of music been out, man? How long it's been? A long, long time. All right, bro. It. I mean, and I guess the burner sees this one day. Him will come in my head, but um, I, it's. I think since about the sixties, fifties wow. to the eighties, it's it's it just starting to get noticed, notoriety. Well, it it well, it had to morph into a couple of things before it did, and rightfully so, it needed a bit of growth. Right. Um, but you know, the trendsetters like Felakusi, you hear that kind of name, you know, Fu, which started with Fuji. Okay. Which is you know spiritual music, and it's it, he he just he he set the ground and just ran, you know, even up until his death, his music lives on. Wow. You know, we're talking about guys who who have caved and carved right. and so you know it's only right we pick it up so it started to that to just afro beat and i believe there was highlight there's all these different types of, of, of genres but you know it people love this and all together it cultivates to become afro beats you okay. may hear like Af afro pop or afro trap right. that's coming up now which is an interesting scene wow you hear like two three four drill you know we have most of these things you guys listen to mostly i guess in, in america it's got sprinkles of that remnants of that now, you see, you can't even ignore it. It's it's it, it's so. Trust me, trust me. But you know, it's it, it, it's. I just I can't wait myself. Man, me too, know? man. I can't wait to scream it, scream um, it, scream it, bro. Another name, actually, that's 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 funny. Before we even Jabari nine eleven. Jabari, shout out to Jabari. I just seen him at Papa Keys uh, Festival, man. Yep. Shout out to Jabari, man. Jabari, that's. My if God. there's anyone that I've ever called as him without them saying, oh, you write it? And I could care less. It's him. Okay. He's a name that has, he didn't even, again, didn't have to look my way at all. But me showing that respect and love for him and his craft, he decided to not only work with me, but show me how to move. Right. You know, kind of be someone as a mentor. And right. that's, that's family. And he's blessed me with not only on, you know, an Afrobeats track that right. we have on the album, but he's the bonus. Okay. He's the bonus. He he ends it for you. How many features on his rep on his album? Um. Let me name them up. So Bari, of course. Okay. Um. We have Lord B. We have the legend who's coming up herself, Pompeii. Okay. Now she's on the chicken and backwards, them. So you know she's you know sky's the limit. Right. She gave me such an infectious bop with. Beauty of forgiveness is what we called it, and it's just, man, man. Um, who else did I have on there? They gonna be like, man, you forgot me, man. And I, I we look, was in the studio that night, <laughs> man. We was hurt, bro. So I, I have, I have P Pompey, I have Boy, I have Lord B, and I believe that was it. I think the rest I had either engineered on my own self or just had as a solo. Yeah. Yeah, that's about it. Man, yeah. hey, I can't wait to hear the project, man. I know it's going to be fire, bro. Man, you speak with passion and conviction gotcha. about your project, man. And gotcha. I, I can't wait to hear it, man, in real time. And shout out to Jabari, man. You got to come back through, bro. That was about a year ago you was here, bro. My brother. Come back through and holler at me, man. 
Tell these people how they can find you, Shay. Absolutely, man. Look, um, I'm Shay Emax on every single platform, and it's spelled S E Y I. I know how it sounds. It's okay. <laughs> M A X. On Insta, too. excuse me, it's two X's, but everywhere else, I'm Shay underscore Max on Snap. Leave my Twitter as the real Shay Emax, and Twitter is funny. Um, on Insta, it's Shay Emax all together, so it's all lowercase. And um, YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, it's all the same thing. You know, it's me on anything you can find me on. Promise that. Y'all heard a man straight from Nigeria, boy. And on that, before we even wrap up anything, oh, here, I, talk I, to I, me. well, I want to give you your flowers. I think, you know, it, it's, it's, people don't ever like to, like I said, people don't love to be a part of the crowd until they see the crowd follow you. Emotion. It's, it's, so, it's such a, to, to this day, it's a backwards concept. But I can't reject it. I have to accept it. I'm right. an artist. For one, I know my art is subjective. Not right. everyone's gonna love it. Right. But you have to give them a reason to keep coming back. Right. Um, and so that's on you to meet the demand. Now, in doing so, you've <laughs> you've met guys like me, and I've not only seen the work I say, <laughs> good stuff, come on through. Right. I think you know it's at whatever level you do. You do it consistently, and I always give respect to those that do. So, Man, I appreciate um, that. It, you, you're, you're starting something here that I think will really I, skyrocket. I, I appreciate that, bro. You know, I you're giving it. guys like me a platform, and <laughs> wherever this goes, right. we, will, we will remember this. You, you did. Name. So, unknowingly, you're, you're kind of setting these moments. So, I really, mean, please. I, I, people love to just, the, and I hear podcasts like they give them the flowers and they try and really, so I need you to really take it in. Right. Because it's not, Thanks, you, bro. you have to, you got to. You're, if you put the work in to do this continuously, I respect you. Sure. Regardless of what you do. Sure. It could be creating the hat. Right. You're doing apparel. Right. If you do it on a consistent basis, even if, if mm, let me rephrase. If I see you have passion for what you do, you sold me completely. Yeah, it is. Because I'm not even supposed to be doing well, I'm not supposed to be. I chose to do music. I was really destined to go and play football. You guys call it soccer. But I was going to do that. I had a plan to be a defender. Go right. to the, I'm the, the, division schools and play divisions and go to this league and I wanted to do that right. I still play but I picked up music in what 2016 and I've just run with it and now we're here talking about my album there which it is, is. I mean that should tell you hey, it's you know. motion bro that's motion bro it's bro let me tell you something man about that consistency word man I'm big on manifesting mm. and I just I just me personally believe bro whatever you put in your energy and time into bro you don't see grass grow. You don't see grass grow. But it grows slowly. Yep. So don't expect nothing to happen overnight. But just know if you're consistent with your hustle and you're consistent with your profession, your grind, you're taking it serious, it can't help but grow. It can't help but grow, bro. It might not grow at the pace people may like. That's why a lot of people vacate from something they see it ain't working. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Bob Falker, too. This guy, he hustling his looker, too. Same thing with him. He hustling every day. Total Wine and Spirits, man. Y'all can find us at Total Wine and oh, Spirits. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Black on, man. Strawberry vodka. And I and I, and I I added that to say this. Yeah. He grinding all the time through all the, oh, yo, drink this, yo, drink. Bro, he grinding. Mm. Putting the work in, bro. Mm. He's going to become a household name eventually, man. He putting in the work. So, like yourself. So, man, continue to do what you do, Shay, man. Yes, sir. And I do want to thank you again for coming through, blessing me with the opportunity. It's an opportunity for me to sit with you, bro. You know what I mean? And uh, I'm sure you're going to do uh, big things, man, in the near future, bro. Look, if God lets me do it, then the sky's the limit. There so. it is. There it is, bro. Hey, man, it's another episode of the Chop Up Hour with Fat Man. We in the building with Shea Max, man. Come on. Huh? Y'all check for an album coming soon. We ain't got so, a date yet, do we, Max? So I, I had July 1st, and I hate to end on this note, but I did push it back because I want you guys to really have the no whole experience. No so doubt. you will get it before the summer runs out. Just need a bit of time. So if you got that for me, then I've got, <laughs> got records for you. There so, it is, man. He gave it to you, so. Blood Raw. I want you to do a record before you go. Is that yeah, all right? For sure. Hey, Shea Max in the building with Fat Man to chop up our... Yo. Come on. There it is, bro. Bro, how you like the interview, bro? That was beautiful. Hey, bro, I've hey, never bro. done it. Surprise. surprise.